Hello everyone. This time I would like to deliver directly to you our future plans for Wii U. In past Nintendo Directs, we have focused more on games releasing in the near future. But it's still early in 2013, so I like to change the format a little bit. I like to share with you some of Nintendo's future plan for its own software titles and services for Wii U. But before we go deeper into this, I like to talk first about what kinds of communication are happening in Miiverse now. We talked about Miiverse in a previous Nintendo Direct, but it was difficult to explain the true potential before the launch of Wii U because of the nature of the unique interaction that occur when many users are organically communicating with one another. Additionally, the only people who can really see what's going on in Miiverse are Wii U owners. Some of our Nintendo Direct viewers may not be able to truly understand what Miiverse users are feeling. There have been a lot of posts by many users on Miiverse during the two months since launch. But there are so many posts and comments on Miiverse that even Wii U owners cannot check every post and many of you may not have noticed when something was happening in Miiverse. So we would like to spend some time today to showcase a few examples that might help illustrate what Miiverse is. I will start with post to the ZombieU community. The game is challenging, so some customers who are stuck with the game are looking for advice in walkthrough of the game where some customers have posted their own play result. A lot of communication among players have taken place. As you know, posts that contain spoilers are hidden. So for those who are playing but have not yet beaten the game, we always have a choice to not see posts with spoilers. In the development of Miiverse, I was talking about with other staffs on how it would be great if Miiverse could become a place where interaction between customers would take place. Customers will offer each other learning and teaching opportunities and connect between players. For example, a customer may receive answers from other customers when he or she posts some questions. Advanced players would help out the novice players. Thanks to all who participate in Miiverse, what we were hoping for is actually happening. The fun of video games is not only just playing games, but also sharing experiences together with people, even though they live far away, their skill levels are different, or their experience does not happen at the same time. In the US, it was a peak of college football season. Nintendo TV community is designed to allow users to post messages with tags of TV shows they watch to Miiverse. This tag system is especially suited for live sports games. You see active comments posted from many customers. There is no such format to enjoy TV programs like this before and we see that a new relationship has been established between TVs in the living rooms and Miiverse. Miiverse allows users to attach a screenshot so you can post your feelings along with a gameplay moment captured as a screenshot, which is a new offering from Miiverse. During the holiday season last year, one customer posted this screenshot. This post captured the game characteristic well and made a very nice message. Next, 
I would like to highlight some excellent quality hand-drawn illustrations. You may have already felt the same way if you peeked at Miiverse in Wii U, but everyone in Nintendo was surprised that there are so many people who are very good at drawing. There are too many great hand-drawn illustrations to show here. Some scenes that I introduced here are just a small part of what is happening in Miiverse. If you have a Wii U, please take a look. You might not stop browsing comments in Miiverse for hours. Please don't lose track of time. Some special Mii characters with marking are beginning to appear in Miiverse. A green check mark is attached at the upper left of the Mii. These are Mii characters that have been confirmed as the official accounts of the listed user. We created this system for corporations, organizations, and other individuals to have their authenticity verified by Nintendo. At present, we verified accounts for individuals such as people who are involved with software development and are mainly utilizing these accounts to provide new information about their games and services. These special Mi users can attach links to an external website to their posts or can embed YouTube videos. I think that there are many people who viewed the post from Mr. Takemoto, the director of New Super Mario Bros. U, where he shared Super Play videos with the New Super Mario Bros. U community. We will continue to utilize this feature and provide a variety of updates and new information now that you can view YouTube videos from within Miiverse. Stepping away from Miiverse since launch, we've been receiving many consumer requests for a variety of improvements that they would like to see with Wii U. We are planning to provide two significant system updates, one in spring and another in summer in response to some of these requests and to also add some new features. We recognize the time it takes to launch software and to return to the menu screen is one of the biggest issues on Wii U. We are going to improve it incrementally in two stages with these updates, once in spring and again summer. Another of the user requests we've been hearing a lot since even before Wii U launch is everyone saying they like to play virtual console games on the Wii U gamepad. We are planning to launch the Wii U virtual console service right after the spring system update releases. However, the original Wii virtual console lineup was prepared over a long period of time. So we cannot offer the entire lineup at the time the Wii U virtual console service starts. Please understand the situation. At the time the service starts, we will prepare a selection of NES and Super NES titles. The Wii U version of Virtual Console games are being newly developed for the Wii U system. Similar to the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console, you will be able to save a backup of your game progress. The service will also have other features, including the ability to play off TV on the Wii U gamepad, as well as accessibility to a Miiverse community. We are also planning to add other platforms, including Game Boy Advance, which we haven't released for the Wii Virtual Console. We will offer special pricing for those of you who have already purchased the Wii version of a Virtual Console game and transferred it to Wii U. The prices for NES and Super NES Virtual Console games for Wii U will be the same as they were for the Wii version. If 
you have already purchased the Wii version of a certain NES or Super NES Virtual Console game, you can purchase the enhanced Wii U version of the same game at the reduced price. If you have already purchased the game on Wii and transferred it to Wii U, the Nintendo eShop will display the reduced price for you automatically. 2013 is the 30th anniversary of the release of the original family computer or Famicom from Nintendo in Japan, which of course was called the NES in America and Europe. So we have decided to offer a virtual console trial campaign making one NES title or Super NES title available for purchase each month starting this month and lasting through July, the month when the Famicom originally launched. The titles coming before April will be available before the official virtual console service starts. We are planning this campaign to offer the virtual console experience on Wii U to a wider range of players. To celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Famicom, the selected titles will be available for the special low price of 30 cents. Each title will be available at the special price for 30 days. You don't need to have a Wii version virtual console game to participate in this campaign. The price for each title will return to its normal price after the campaign distribution period is over. After that time, if you already own the Wii Virtual Console version, you will be able to purchase the game at the reduced price. If you do not own the Wii version, you can purchase the game at the normal eShop price. So I hope you will try out these games during the campaign period to see if you might be interested in buying a particular game. These are the games we will be offering each month as a part of the campaign. We've selected Balloon Fight as the first title in the campaign, a game on which I was one of the developers. You can purchase the game as soon as this Nintendo Direct is concluded. Please download it and enjoy. Perhaps you will want to show off your skills by posting how much you can score in the balloon trip on Miiverse. I'm hoping some of you would post a screenshot with a great score on your post to surprise us. Combining virtual console games with Miiverse opens up another new possibility for the service. As I've said before, the fun of games is being able to both enjoy the game themselves, plus being able to talk about them with others and share those experiences. For example, in Pikmin 3, we are planning to include a feature that lets you use the Wii U gamepad as a camera to capture close-up photos in game and share them in Miiverse. I think you will be able to find new enjoyment by capturing climactic moments where you can see sceneries and creatures at the same eye level as Pikmin and share them with others. For Wii Fit U, we are going to add new features that will let you create closed user communities on Miiverse. A specific ID number will be assigned for each user community. Once you use the ID number within Wefit U, you can then access it to see the community in the Miiverse screen. It may be easier to understand if you remember the community features in Mario Kart 7 for Nintendo 3DS you will be able to discuss exercises, BMI or weight changes, and other health topics with other players 
who you are exercising with to encourage and push each other to achieve your fitness goals. Because Miiverse is in broad terms a closed web-based service that employs many internet server-side features, we can easily make changes and also add features. We are planning to expand some features this spring. The user communities, which will be introduced at the time of the WeFitU launch, is one of these additional features. We will also add additional official communities for individual software titles and usability improvements. We are seeing issue that Interesting posts can easily be buried by many posts these days. To solve the issues, we are working on adding a filtering functions and so forth which users can use to access posts conveniently one by one. We recognize there are other areas of Miiverse we can improve and we plan to tackle these one by one in the near future. We are also working on preparing functionality that will allow you to browse Miiverse from smartphone beginning this spring. At first, it's going to be a browser-based experience from smartphones, but we are also planning to create smartphone app in the future. When you access Miiverse and see the post from your smartphone, you will have to use your Nintendo network ID and password. I believe this will expand the potential of Miiverse when you can access it away from home. We'll make the announcement once we can confirm more concrete timing. Next, I will talk about the games Nintendo has planned for the future. But before I do that, I should mention that there will be no new titles released for Wii U from Nintendo in January or February. Nintendo takes seriously its responsibility to offer a steady stream of new titles in the very early days of a new platform to establish a good lineup of software. On the other hand, we also firmly believe we have to offer quality experiences when we release new titles. Based on our software development schedules at the end of last year, we concluded we should spend a little more time to satisfy our Nintendo standard of quality. I apologize to those supporting Wii U about the lack of new titles from Nintendo in January and February. But please understand, we will have new titles to offer from March onward. We are planning a steady stream of games from this spring to summer, including Game and Wario, We Fit You, Pikmin 3, Lego City Undercover from our friends at TT Games, and of course, the wonderful 101, which Platinum Games is working on. It's for the first time in a while that we can offer new information about the wonderful 101. Today, we have some new footage. Please take a look at it. Team, fall in! This is your first and only warning, invaders. Surrender your arms, or we'll have to use force. Entering enemy Argon radar range. Red alert. This time, the mighty Lambo will wipe their simpering smiles from the face of the planet! <laughs> How about you come down here and I toss you in a cage where you belong, banana? I have no time to waste on pathetic underlings! You will produce your leader! Ah, there is the blue way of music. Every insult and opportunity to find a talk to an opponent! Take a two, little ah. boy, Graw. Ah. Alice, full speed ahead. Roger. Time for that alien to eat missile! Team, 
Unite up! Roger! The wonderful... 101! All right, let's move. As for Platinum Games, you may want to know about Bionetta 2, right? The development of the title is going well, but it's not the right timing to discuss details about the game yet. However, here is a special video from the game development studio. Please take a look. なんか川原川っぽい質感がうまく出せたらいいなと思うんですけど。いかに自分のこういう風に表現したいんだっていうのですかっていうのはまあ常々考えてるところでありますね。で、日常場所も結構いっぱい出てくるので、そのところでまあ
from the creators of Wii Party to release this summer. In this game, there are various gameplay styles. For example, one uses the Wii U gamepad as an unusual kind of dice, letting you play virtual board game on TV. The other one will use the gamepad and Wii Remote to encourage communication between players. Some will not use TV screen, but will only use one gamepad to pit two players play against each other. This game will use the features of Wii U to create very different experience from games like Nintendo Land or Game and Wario. This will continue to enhance our image of making Wii U the system that brings everyone together. For these titles, even though they are certainly new announcements. You may expect them and say, it's natural that Nintendo would be preparing new versions for these series. So we have two more titles in development that I'd like to share with you. First is a new game being developed by the team behind Kirby's Epic Yarn. This time, the main character is Yoshi. Takashi Tezuka, who was the director of Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story, is supervising the development of this title. It's been quite a while since the last time we had new game for the home console featuring Yoshi as the main character. The last one was Yoshi's Story, which we introduced for Nintendo 64 back in 1998. We would like to leverage the Wii U graphics and hardware capability to show how attractive a new Yoshi game can be. The second is a new collaboration title. Please take a look. This is a collaboration between the Shin Megami Tensei by Atlas and the Fire Emblem franchises. Because the scope of game development for each title is getting larger and larger, we cannot prepare enough titles for Wii U using the same approaches we have taken in the past. This collaboration with Atlas is an example of one of our new approaches. We are working with many more partners on additional collaborations as well. I will discuss those projects in the future Nintendo Direct or at other opportunities. Please look forward to hearing about them. Finally comes the last topic for today. We are going to discuss our plan for the Legend of Zelda series on Wii U. Please allow Eiji Aonuma, the producer of Zelda, to explain. Hello, everybody. Watching Nintendo Direct. I'm Eiji Aonuma, the producer of The Legend of Zelda. Zelda no 25周年を皆さんと一緒にお祝いさせていただいたのは、つい
詳しい話は実際のゲームの画面を見ていただけるようになってからするとして本日はその開発テーマについてお話しさせていただこうと思います。ウイユの新作ゼルダの開発テーマはズバリゼルダの当たり前を見直すです。このゼルダの当たり前というのは例えばシナリオに沿って順番にダンジョンを攻略するという当たり前や一人で黙々と遊ぶという当たり前などここ最近のゼルダで当たり前になってきたことを原点に立ち返り今遊びたいスタイルに生まれ変わらせようということです。実はこれと同じようなチャレンジはスカイウォードソードでもしてきたのですが一本道な構成にはあまり手をつけられませんでした今回それが具体的にどんなふうに生まれ変わるかについてはもう少し出来上がりを確かめてからお話しさせていただきたいと思いますそれとは別に本日はその w i i u の新作の開発の過程で生まれたちょっと興味深い画像がありますのでそれをぜひ皆さんにご覧いただきたいと思いますファンの皆さんにはこれが何の画像かもうお分かりのことと思いますがこれは今から10年前ゲームキューブのタイトルとして発売された「ゼルダの伝説風のタクト」の舞台となったタウラ島を、UU、で HD 画像化したものです我々ゼルダチームは2011年の E3 で「HD エクスペリエンス」という「UU のゼルダ」のデモを公開してからさらにそのグラフィックを検討するために過去のシリーズタイトルをいくつか HD 化してみたのですが。タクトの場合は画質が良くなるという単純な変化ではなく何か全く新しいものに生まれ変わったように感じました本日この画像を皆さんにご覧いただいたのは新作のゼルダを完成させるにはまだまだ時間がかかりそうなのでそれが発売できるようになるまでの間に Wii U で生まれ変わった風のタクトを皆さんに遊んでいただけるように製品化することにしたというご報告をしたかったからなのです Wii U の風のタクト新作同様楽しみにしていてください As you've seen, we are working on two The Legend of Zelda games for Wii U, with one remake title and one completely new title for Wii U. We are planning to release The Wind Waker by this fall. Some Nintendo Direct viewers may not have had a chance to play this game, even though you had some interest in it because. Nintendo GameCube didn't have very big install base to reach to all of you. We also think The Wind Waker, with its whimsical and enduring cartoon style, is the perfect game for introducing first time players to the Zelda universe. This time, we not only will be updating the graphics, but we'll also tune up. The overall game experience. You will be able to play it on your TV, but will also be able to play it off TV on the Wii U gamepad. You should be able to use Miiverse this time too. I think you will find this can add new elements of fun to this game. As for the brand new Wii U Zelda game, since It is a bigger development project. It will take some time before we can make more concrete a n n o u n c e m e n t But I hope you will look forward to our new challenges of revisiting every single detail in the Zelda series. Please stay tuned for updates on our new challenges. Finally, I have one more important topic. Mr. Tetsuya Takahashi and his team at Monolith Soft, who worked on Xenoblade, are working on a new title. Please take a look.
How was it? I hope today's Nintendo Direct offered a slightly different flavor. We couldn't talk about Nintendo 3DS today, but we will find a separate opportunity to do that soon. And we will also provide more information about the effort by our third-party publishers on Wii U. We hope to make this year exciting for you through Nintendo Direct by providing more information about Nintendo 3DS and Wii U directly to you. Thank you for watching.